Now we are going to define our REST API endpoints. We will use controller to define our application logic. This controller function will be a bridge between HTTP, HTTP REST API and your domain model. These controllers will handle the request and response cycle for your API. You will define what type of response you want to send when user has sent request to specific endpoint. Yes, each function on a controller can be individually to handle an incoming request like post request. You can write some business logic inside your handler function and you can return response. If request has successfully executed, then you can return 200 response. We don't have any product controller. I'm going to show you how to create the product controller. I'll before I need a controller. We need to provide the name of the controller base class. Basically, it's not a base class. It's a name of the class. I'm going to use product. Yes, we need REST API endpoints. That's why I'm going to provide the REST controller with CRUD functions. Yes, the name of the model, which is product. We need product repository. Yes, because this product repository has CRUD related functions. Create, read, find, and find all. The type of the ID, I think we defined the number type. What is the base HTTP path name of the CRUD operations, which is products. So I'm going to press products. Actually, I don't need to press anything. I'm going to press enter. That is it. Let me show you the controllers folder and you will see the product.controller. In the index.ts, they have, they have exported this product controller. I'm going to open the product controller. Now you can see that they have created the rest package. You can see get, post, patch, put, delete, and request body. They have imported these methods from the loopback rest package. They have injected this repository. This is called property decorator. Here you will see the create method, method decorator. You can see that you will define the path, which is products. Here you will define your response. If everything is good, it is going to return this JSON response with newly created product. And you can see that this is the parameter decorator. You can send the product from the request body and it is going to return the promise with product. Hey, hey, here we have the product repository. Remember that I told you product repository will provide the CRUD operations. This is a service. You can assume that this is the service and it is going to turn the, it is going to give me some methods to perform CRUD operations. We have create method and they are using the async await. If promise will be resolved, it is going to return the result. 